Hi guys, I'm Heidi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated releases of 2021 and I've chosen 10 books that I've added to my TBR. First is The Fall of Babel by Josiah Bancroft and this is my most anticipated release of 2021. If you haven't yet read the Books of Babel series, then please do. The first book is called Senlin Ascends the second is Arm of the Sphinx, and the third is The Hot King, and The Fall of Babel is the fourth and, I think, the final book in this series. These are the most unique, most imaginative fantasy books I have ever read. The world building is insane, it's so good, and the amount of character development that the main character goes through is just mind-blowing. I'll read you the blurb for the first book. The Tower of Babel is the greatest marvel in the world. Immense as a mountain, the ancient tower holds unnumbered ringdoms, warring and peaceful, stacked one on the other like the layers of a cake. It is a world of geniuses and tyrants, of airships and steam engines, of unusual animals and mysterious machines. Soon after arriving for his honeymoon at the tower, the mild-mannered headmaster of a small village school, Thomas Senlin, gets separated from his wife, Maria, in the overwhelming swarm of tourists, residents and miscreants. Senlin is determined to find Maria, but to do so he'll have to navigate madhouses, ballrooms and burlesque theatres. He must survive betrayal, assassins and the long guns of a flying fortress. But if he hopes to find his wife, he will have to do more than just endure. This quiet man of letters must become a man of action. Do yourself a favor and pick up this series. I'm so looking forward to The Fall of Babel. Then there's Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. And I don't really know much about this, but apparently vampires are making a comeback. And this one is not YA, so if this is an adult book about vampires, then I'm here for it. Then next is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. And this is a sci-fi book about a lone astronaut who is the only survivor um, on a mission and I guess he has to save the world. I thought The Martian by Andy Weir was fine. Um, I didn't love it, but it was still quite enjoyable, so I am looking forward to Project Hail Mary as well. Then there's The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary. Um, so this is a romance book and that is a bit weird for me because I don't really read romance. And as far as I know, this makes use of the um, second chance trope and I'm not really into that trope but I am into this author's writing. Just more or less the only romance author whose books I've enjoyed, um, so I will be giving this one a go. Then there's a graphic novel I'm super excited about, and that is The Adventure Zone, The Crystal Kingdom by the McElroys, and it's illustrated by Carrie Peach. So this is a graphic novel series that is based on a podcast um, that is run by three brothers and their dad, um, and they're playing Dungeons and & Dragons and other tabletop RPGs, and it's one of my favorite podcasts. It's absolutely hilarious. And the graphic novel adaptation is done really well. Um, so The Crystal Kingdom is the fourth um, volume in the series now, um, and I've absolutely loved the, the other three, so really looking forward to this. Then there's Heartstopper Volume 4 by Alice Osman. I'm sure most of you know what this is. Um, it's a YA graphic novel about two boys who fall in love. It's fine, it's cute. Um, I'm not really crazy about it and I do think that um, it could do with a bit more plot um, in addition to just being cute. But I will be reading the fourth volume um, to see how I feel about it and whether or not um, I want to continue further with this series. Then there's Fugitive Telemetry by Martha Wells and that is the sixth book in the Murderbot Diaries series and I haven't yet read the fifth book which is called Network Effect. Um, but um, it's on my 2021 TBR um, and as soon as I finish that one I will be picking up Fugitive Telemetry as well. Murderbot is such a fun and relatable character. I mean they're a self-aware droid who feels uncomfortable around humans and this whole um, series is just so much fun um, so I would definitely recommend it. Next is The Hidden Palace by Helene Wecker. Um, and this is the sequel to The Golem and the Genie. The story takes place in 1900s Manhattan and it follows two main characters. One of them is a golem who is able to hear the thoughts of the people around her and um, because of her nature she feels compelled to help them. And the other character is a Ginny who is a sort of a free-spirited being of fire and he is stuck um, in the body of a man. They're both scared that they'll be exposed as monsters, um, so they pretend to be human. I read The Golem and the Ginny in 2014, so I might need to reread it before I pick up the sequel, um, but I remember absolutely loving it, so I'm really, really looking forward to The Hidden Palace. And there's Pieces by Helen Oyeyemi, 
and I will read anything this author writes. She writes magical realism and all her stories are a bit strange but also wonderful. This one is about two guys on a train, they're a couple, and there is something strange or unusual about the train. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Then there is The Death of Francis Bacon by Max Porter, and apparently this is really confusing and no one knows what this is about. So this is what the author has said about it. This is my attempt to write as painting, not about it. An attempt to replicate thought, struggle, the struggle of thought, but also the sheer energy of the eye's confrontation with the painted image. It's the result of a long preoccupation I've had with Francis Bacon, and I hope that even though it is a book about death, it's very much a living thing. Okay. I've liked Max Porter's previous works, so um, I will definitely be giving this one a go, but we'll see. And finally, The Thorn of Ember Lane by Scott Lynch if it does actually get released in 2021. I mean, that's the expected publication date. Um, it's been delayed before, but I feel like it's a bit like the Cyberpunk 2077 of the book world. Um, it gets delayed several times, but then it will eventually be released, but hopefully without any bugs. It's the fourth book in the Gentleman Bastard series, um, and it's one of my favorite fantasy series of all time, so if the fourth book does happen to come out in 2021, then I will definitely be reading it. So that's it. Um, let me know what your most anticipated releases of 2021 are. Um, let me know if you're planning on reading any of these. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!